Hi, I'm lazy. People on the internet sometimes hate me for having a big booty. Oh, I've McFallen. They usually see this dump truck and they go like, wow, that's thick. And you know what? I get it. If I saw it as well, I'd be like, wow. I wish I had that dump truck. But the girl that we're gonna talk about today does not have those problems. She doesn't get hate because she has a dump truck. Honestly, I don't even know if she has a dump truck, but she gets hate because of her cooking videos. So Nara Smith is an influencer who, scratch that, Nara Smith is a rich influencer who makes cooking videos, but what makes her special is that she cooks everything from scratch. Oh, she's gonna cook chicken nuggets? She has to go ferment her chickens from scratch. She actually just spreads her legs and pops a couple of chicken eggs, which then turn into chickens, and then she raises those chickens to send them to college for her to just finally kill them and make chicken nuggets for her children. Today my toddlers wanted cereal for breakfast again, so I decided to make some cinnamon toast crunch since that's my husband's From scratch. And the kids have never had it. So I combine all of my dry ingredients into a bowl, give that a really good mix, and then slowly add some oil and water. I incorporate everything with my spatula and then move on to using my hands. Before this is breakfast? I dough on some parchment paper. I use another sheet of parchment paper on top and roll it out as, oh my God. as I can. Once it's rolled out, I'm using a pizza cutter to just cut it into squares. Or That's what I would have done as well. Yeah, cut it into squares. Down. I pulled it at the oven, let it cool, and then broke the squares apart before adding them to bowls with some milk. She did all of that for breakfast. How long is her breakfast where she lives? Because usually here on the planet that I live in, we call it earthy. And that would take me breakfast, lunch, and dinner to make. She made all that shit from scratch just for breakfast? How many hours does she have in her breakfast? Kids wanted cereal for breakfast and got it for lunch. Lunch? I think that was probably dinner. So the only thing that's wrong with this is that this is not realistic at all. Someone who works the majority of the day does not have the luxury to spend eight hours cooking breakfast. Now things get even crazier when she posts a what she eats in a day lazy edition. No pun intended, like not lazy me edition, but her having a lazy day, you know what I mean? Here's everything I eat in a day. As so I can't hear it. Here's everything that I eat in a day in a very lazy day. She could have just told us Victoria's Secret and we all just missed it. Is 34 weeks pregnant, but is having a really lazy cook. Oh, she's break. I might be blind. How did I not notice that you bum? But is having a really lazy cooking day. I had to start my day off. Lazy with cooking day. Tea and some milk. I also hate the taste of water, so today. I opted for she hates the taste of water. Some apple juice. Oh, that's a rich people tomato. I've never seen a purple tomato before. Are rich people just adding dyes to tomatoes just to feel different? Oh, can I get some purple dyed tomatoes? Because I don't need the poor people red tomato. Yeah, thank you. This purple tomato just called me broke. Broke, bitch. Hydrated and then moved on to making my breakfast. I've been into oh, this is just breakfast? breakfast? So I decided on caramelized soy mushrooms on one side Same. of the toast and tomato on the other. I also had some of my kids leftover oatmeal with some peach, vanilla puree, and banana. Okay. And then I always need a lunch pick-me-up, so I had a culture pop and an iced lavender honey tea. Oh. Since we're sticking to quick and easy meals, I did a baked potato with some quick pickled sumac on the uh, kimchi. Quick pickled sumomichi. Yeah, me too. With some quick pickled sumac onions. I also like making quick pic pico pico de gallo. Keep in mind that all this cooking is happening in one day. This is just one day and oh my, oh my god, it's not even been half of the video. Who is she cooking for? Is Gordon Ramsay holding a gun to her head or something? Like, yeah, you better make it quite picholo picho, bitch. Yeah, that's what I said. That was me speaking rich people ingredients. Honey mustard salmon. Oh, she made the sauce from scratch. Sides and marinated my salmon. Assembled it all with butter, the salmon. I've had this before. <laughs> Love a little Snack? Time, so I had this coconut mango smoothie that I, when dinner time rolled around. Oh, we're not done. Something comforting. I've been thinking about making gnocchi soup for so long. So gnocchi soup, yeah. I did today. Uh -huh. I chopped up some carrots, celery, and onion, and I burnt my mouth, but it was definitely worth it. 
Did anyone notice though? Don't let the fact that she cooked 50 meals in one day distract you from her having like at least three outfit changes. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. The reason why I say this is unrealistic is because we have a mom who has two kids and is pregnant on her way to popping out another one and you're telling me she had time to cook three or four meals with midnight snacks and lunch break snacks and morning snacks where she cooked everything from scratch also to record all these angles for us and then don't forget after recording she has to edit this entire thing don't forget that after editing she also has to voice over this entire thing while the kids are actually where are the kids does she not have any kids and she's just bullshitting us that she has kids no, that was just me starting a fake conspiracy theory because she does have kids. And then to do the dishes, to prep all these all these ingredients, this would take full days unless there's a full team editing shit, prepping a lot of these ingredients and buying them for her and maybe some nannies taking care of the kids. Do you ever eat hot Cheetos? Cheetos? Whose toes are y'all eating? Cheeto? Who's Chi? Oh my god, is he talking about GMO ingredients? <coughs> oh my god, where's my lettuce? Lettuce! <laughs> lettuce. Wait, my tomato! What is this? A red tomato? Becky? Where's my rich people tomato? What is this disgusting shit? She did post her rich late night snack and I figured since we've never seen a rich late night snack, let's see what she eats. This has been my favorite late night snack lately. Just ice cream um, with a fancy just bowl? ice cream, okay? I do That's two it? Steps, sometimes even four. <laughs> and then oh, I caramel? it with some good olive oil. Okay. Olive oil? S stick with me. And then you need some kind of flaky sea salt. I just do the plain one, what? but sometimes I am I also do the smoky one. Sprinkle it on top. It has to be flaky though. It can't be the normal one. And this is what I have. Now, I might not have her $500 bowl, but I definitely have some ice cream with olive oil. Let's give it a try. So I got my ice cream here. Obviously I had to buy a couple of cows and then I milked them so I could get this ice cream because we do not buy ice cream from the store here. That's disgusting. Unfortunately, I do not have flaky salt. Never heard of flaky salt, but I do have margarita salt and the uh, pink Himalayan salt that probably comes from China. Got my olive oil. Let's give it a try. How much am I supposed to add though? I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. So that's how much I got so far. My ice cream has unfortunately melted, but we're not here for that. Oh, I almost forgot my flaky salt. What do I feel like a chef right now? Okay, moment of truth. It's so good. It kind of tastes like vanilla ice cream with salt and olive oil. It's definitely not giving rich people ice cream. It's actually giving broke boy who got adventurous with his ingredients in this kitchen and he tried to mix something up but ended up with vanilla ice cream, olive oil and salt. So people started copying her lifestyle and honestly, I'm glad that she's inspiring more people to cook home. But the thing that they can't copy is her money. And let me show you one of the original girls who was cooking everything from scratch and her name is Alexia. I was out of town for a few days and I got home late last night and when I saw my boys this morning- Why do they the cook like they that? for were strawberry scones with a lemon drizzle. So of course I got started making them right away. Mixed together all my dry ingredients, cut in my butter before going out to harvest my strawberries. These were perfectly ripe. I can't believe I actually grew these here. So I grabbed those and then got- 
Is it me or did she just pick the strawberries from the ground like she just grew some potatoes? <laughs> oh my god, I cannot with these influencers faking everything. This is how strawberries actually grow. And uh, when you're an influencer, they don't grow the same way, believe it or not. They actually grow like carrots. I can't believe I actually grew these. God, I really hope this is satire. I grabbed those and then got some milk and eggs for my chickens. And I diced up my strawberries, added those to my bowl. Why is the smile so cast. creepy? No, I'm proficient at juggling. Added my chicken milk and eggs. The smile. Then formed it into a little disc on some parchment paper before cutting it into eight little triangles. Egg wash for some Oh my god, she's a serial killer. I truly believe these influencers who are all about aesthetically pleasing lifestyle, deep down they're just serial killers because who the fuck cooks like that? So today my kids wanted me to make homemade ice and I started prepping the ingredients but as I'm whipping out the air I realized that I'm missing some of the ingredients so I head outside and I came across this adoption center and I found five cute little kids so I adopted them. Then I got back home then I killed them and I threw them in my ingredients because my little kids love the taste of blood. The bones were a little hard to crush so I used a bag of Tootsie Rolls to crush them up. As you can see I'm struggling here a little bit but they're worth it. At the end of the day my kids get to eat organic homemade ice with a hint of human blood. These influencers are making the grudge look like Dora the Explorer with the creepy facial expressions and with that with the tone of their voice. So people are probably out here saying, Oh Lazy, why are you after Nara? Stop being a hater and leave her alone. People need to understand that I'm not after Nara. I'm after Nara's wealth. Like, do you really think I give a fuck about Nara? I care about her wealth. If Nara's watching this video and she was a decent human being, she would send me a small check for 100k. She posted a video of her husband. Uh, honestly, it feels like this might be a because her husband forced her without her will to go shopping. This is so fucking sad. I wish someone would force me to go shopping and spend money. Someone force me to go shopping. Today my husband insisted that we go to the mall and I get whatever I've been wanting and just treat myself because I never like yeah, to fuck it. on myself. Mm -hmm. The first stop was Apple. I needed wow, okay. a new computer. I've been needing one for a while now because my kids broke mine right okay. after I got it. So I got another MacBook Pro and then also an iPad case for my iPad. We stopped at Oliver okay. People to see Lucky's campaign. Oh. Nevertheless, we made it to Williams Sonoma and you guys, this is my favorite store. I could spend hours just browsing the aisles. So far, I feel like we spent over $3,000, which is in her budget, you know, she has the money. That's nothing. Also, did I just notice a GMO lemonade with plastic? Nara, you're about to get cancelled. Should have gone outside, plant a lemon tree, and then squeeze some fresh lemons to make yourself a lemonade. As a little refreshment, this was so sweet, I couldn't really drink it. I got a new cutting board and saw that the knives were right next to it, so I couldn't resist. Yeah. I got a knife. Okay. At this point, everything was getting too heavy to carry, so I decided to order- A slave? I could imagine, you know, she decided to order a slave. Things get too heavy and she's just like- snaps her fingers and she orders a slave and honestly where do i sign up nara if you're watching this video are you looking for a slave right now i'll carry anything i've carried my mental issues for years a couple of gucci bags would be nothing and then we made it to bottega veneta i've been itching to come to this store and same and our toddlers were running absolutely crazy buy them a gucci bag so we decided to just come back later and buy them a gucci bag a snack and then went to louis vuitton oh we're not done i to get a classic duffel bag for a while now but i again was indecisive so we went back to bottega the struggle and lucky and the sales associate were trying so hard to help me just oh, girl decision. so i finally decided to just get the chocolate brown bag i feel for her the fact that she had to struggle and pick like Oh my god, which Gucci bag do I pick? Hey, a slave, I mean, employee, 
Yeah, you work here, right? Ah, uh, yes, it's Justin. Which do you think would match my aesthetic? Oh, she looks like one of those people that uses money to wipe their booty after the poop. Oh, definitely the $20,000 one. The one that's $5,000 extra? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Thank you, Slady. It's Justin. Employee Justin. Benny? Yeah, Benny. Whatever your name was. And then Lucky told me to just go back and get the duffel as well since we're already at the mall. Who's gonna say no to that? So I got the duffel bag and got my initials. My bank account, they would say no to that. They would actually stop me at Chipotle. They would stop at like, hey, you already spent $20 today. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Got stamped on the bag. Ladies, always make your husband carry all your bags. Absolutely. At this point, the mall was about to close, so I rushed into Sephora and just stocked up on some makeup products that I ran out of and called it a day. Imagine having enough money to shop the entire day where the struggle is not you running out of money. The struggle is not having enough time to buy everything that you wanted. The fact that one shopping trip cost them over 10000 It did? I don't even know the price of the bags. And just one of the trips was worth $10,000? I feel like I should not be watching her videos because I think she definitely lives on a different planet. Not hating, but it wouldn't hurt anyone, even her bank account, if she decided to share 100K with me. To show everyone that she's like everyone else, she also struggles sometimes with cooking, she decides to show what she eats in a day when she's having a busy day. We ordered food. No, I did not cook anything from scratch today. We've been doing baby stuff all day long, building cribs, doing the whole thing. So we ordered food. Obviously, we ordered Thai food. I think they forgot our rice. No. So we got... What is this? Oh, okay. That's we got rice. some plain rice. You can tell that this girl rarely orders takeout food because she really just opened the rice and she was like, what is this fancy thing? Oh my God, it's rice. Wow, they put them in these little containers. Poor people might be poor, but they've definitely advanced. So I usually get, I usually eat what he's eating. Where's, what else did we get? Oh, we also got a mango limeade. We usually get everything like, is Maybe he checking out spices, the booty? Lucky always needs extra. He just smacked her booty on camera. <laughs> and he's still, he's still looking at it. Guys, shut the camera off and just go to your bedroom. We can clearly tell that your partner is horny. No, let's just eat it out of the containers. Yeah, it right? looks still really hot. We don't have to warm it up, right? Yeah, let's, let me just try it. Mm-hmm. It's good? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try yours. He's over here checking out the booty the entire. She's hungry, she's eating, and he's over here. Does it look good? <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks good from over here. Oh yeah, the food. What did we get again? Hey, you know what? Good for them. Rich people enjoying their life, as it should be. POV, Nara Smith's children ask her for water. Mom, can I please have some water? Okay, sweetie, wait. So today, one of my kids was craving oh my some water, so you know I had to make some water from scratch. First, I decided to get some hydrogen and mix it with oxygen. Oh my god. And I kept it in a chemical in <laughs> Oh my god, he grew up. sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> I really hope those kids don't ask for anything else in her house. Otherwise, they're gonna be starving. Moral of the story, don't believe everything that you see on the internet. People don't actually spend their entire day cooking meals and then cleaning and then recording videos and editing them. It's fake. They do get help, they just don't show it on camera. So don't feel like you should be doing the same thing, especially when you know that you're not rich. This lifestyle might not be affordable for all of us, but you know what's affordable? My membership. Because for $2 a month, you can watch my videos a day early. So go ahead, become a member. It's literally $2 a month and not a Louis Vuitton a month. Imagine if I was charging people a Louis Vuitton bag a month to watch my videos a day early. <laughs> Quick shout out to all our members as usual. I'm feeling a little hungry right now and I have to go cook myself something. And obviously we cook everything from scratch over here. And I'm kind of craving a uh, hot dog. So yeah, I have to go kill some dogs.